Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, today I got another walk around on a really, really nice 2022 Kia Stinger GT line in this nice ceramic silver color. Let's get this video started right now. All right, so starting out here on the front of this GT line Kia Stinger. New headlights here for 2022, all LED here. You also have LED daytime running lights here and down there. Turn signals down here as well, which are very nice here, LED turn signals. Coming around to the front, you have a nice satin chrome finish. And you also have the brand new Kia logo, which is here on this 2000. 22 Kia Stinger You have Hood vents here. Uh, they are not functional, uh, but they do look very very nice here on this vehicle This is the ceramic silver color as well Wheels over here new design for 2022 black inserts with the uh, silver outsides there and these are 18 inch wheels here um, on the vehicle the exact size on the tire is 225 45 R18s. Coming around to the side, you have these air shutters here that take the air out of the wheel well, shoot it through here to give it uh, some aerodynamics. It makes it look very good as well. Satin chrome finish here on the mirror cap with LED turn signals. Up on the top there, you got that ceramic silver coating, and this goes back to a fastback here on the back. Same size wheels on the back of the vehicle, 18 inches here. Nice little design cue on the back there that makes it look more sporty. And then on the back here, you have four exhaust outlets and they are uh, shooting out exhaust as well. I, I put an exhaust uh, video at the beginning of this uh, video and it's really, really nice. Really, really sounds good here on this uh, four cylinder engine actually. Two and a half liter four cylinder engine. We'll get on that underneath the hood here. This is the GT line all wheel drive edition. Stinger spelled out here on the back. No Kia logo here on the back. These tail lights are new and they stretch all the way across here, which really look really, really nice at nighttime. Coming around the side, you do have a little accent that carries all the way over uh, to that rear quarter panel. Very nice. Let's pop open this, uh, this back trunk area. All right, so carrying over this fastback styling here um, on the back here, the trunk opens wide open, which really makes it a nice um, opening here for you so you can put a lot of actually bigger stuff in here that you would traditionally wouldn't uh, if you had a regular sedan. Uh, nice big area here. This does have the uh, all-weather mat and this one right here it is still in the plastic because the customers haven't bought it yet. You do have your uh, carpet and mats here as well and then uh, underneath of here you, there is a little area where you can lift it up and uh, it gives you like your inflator kit and spare tire and all that stuff underneath of there. Um, so really nice area. You can also lay down those seats right there and uh, lay something flat completely through if you want to have like uh, skis or a snowboard um, or really anything that's long, maybe even like two by fours or stuff like that there. Really nice. And then here attached to the trunk, you do have um, a little cargo um, cover there that actually per doubles as a little protection for anything that you have underneath there um, and it keeps it really um, secure without anybody seeing it. Let's go up underneath the engine now. All right, under the hood time here. So all new for 2022 um, is this two and a half liter turbocharged four cylinder engine that does have Kia's new smart stream technology, which we'll see right there. This engine produces 300 horsepower um, in this lower trim level Stinger. Uh, of course, you can get the, the big twin turbocharged uh, V6 option, um, but for 300 horsepower in this engine, that is absolutely awesome um, here in this, this vehicle. Um, and it gives you a lot of power, it gives you all wheel drive, um, and it is hooked up to an eight speed automatic transmission. Let's jump in the passenger or the back seats in this Kia Stinger. All right, back seat time. Let's go to the window sticker first before we do that. So you'll see up here, 2022 Kia Stinger uh, GT Line all wheel drive. It's got the ceramic silver paint color, black interior here with the leather. 
Um, and the fuel economy is 24 combined, 21 city, 29 highway here on this all wheel drive uh, vehicle. MSRP is $40,215. Really nice package for that money. Let's go to the back seat here. Nice big opening here. This vehicle has not been officially uh, cleaned up and put on the lot, so I'm doing this video before that, so you have a little bit of plastic here. You'll see on the back a little bit of white plastic um, that try to keep it protective, waiting for the customer to purchase it. Um, armrest back here, nice leather padded, power windows, nice sound system here at the bottom, and then a nice cargo um, area here where you can put a cup holder or put a cup down there uh, with that cup holder here in the, out, the back seat here. Leather seats here on the back. They are perforated. You can see the perforation here. You also do have a nice big armrest right here. And then down here in the middle, you do have two air vents that you can actually control the temperature back here. I don't know if you guys can see that, uh, but you can control heating and cooling back here in the back seat. You also do have a fast charging USB and then a 12 volt port right there. Nice little hump in the middle there because this is rear wheel drive um, by nature and it has the all wheel drive capabilities um, right in this vehicle as well. Plenty of space here back and uh, you do have child safety uh, anchors here in this vehicle as well. Very nice. So you can put a, a cargo or put a seat, not a cargo. <laughs> you can put a, a child seat here in the back of this uh, Kia Stinger. All right, time to head up to the front. Before I do that, I want to show you the key here um, on the Stinger. This is the um, new Kia Key 5 they've had for a little while. It is a little different than it used to be on the Stinger. It used to be like a round button here at the top, but they've gone with more of the traditional um, key that they put on like the Forte, the, the uh, Telluride, the, the Sorentos, all those other models. Uh, still very nice. Remote start on this vehicle, lock, unlock. You got your panic there. You also have the release there for the key that can pop out here on the bottom. New Kia logo, and then again, like I said, that remote start. Uh, so I'm gonna lock it real quick here. And then what I'm gonna do is I've got the key in my pocket now. My hands are free. Um, and what I can do is I can actually control the vehicle by pressing this uh, black button here. I can open the door. And then also when I'm leaving the vehicle, I can also press that button and it locks the vehicle so I can't get in or no one else can get in um, here. Very nice. Let's jump on in. Here on the uh, front doors, you have nice padded leather here all the way down. Um, power windows, power locks. You also have your power mirrors, which can actually fold in. Very nice. You also down here at the bottom, you have another storage area with a cup holder here. Nice big speaker for all your music. Coming on the inside, you do have your some of your safety controls here, lane departure warning, and your gas cat release. You also have the auto um, interior lighting switchings um, right there. Coming on over to the seat, you do have a leather seat here that is power adjustable. Um, you can go in a multiple different uh, ways, up, down, side, back, um, lumbar support, up and down. Um, you name it, you can adjust the seat and it makes it very comfortable and uh, very supportive bolsters here um, on this vehicle. Here up on the top, you do have GT line spelled out and embossed right on the leather there. Very, very nice. Let's jump on the inside here and look at the steering wheel and the displays. All right, so inside here of the Stinger, I'm gonna show you guys a view of the outside. Good view, good visibility. These uh, separate mirrors that are on the actual door frame, not this uh, A-pillar, give you a little bit of visibility right there. Very nice. Um, let's take the key, it's in my pocket, let's start this up. So I'll put my foot on the brake and then put uh, the uh, my finger right on the uh, start button here. And it will power it up there. Very nice. All right, so let's start over here. Actually, let's go over to display first. So this is uh, new for 2022. Um, this is a standard display here on this GT line. Uh, 10 and a quarter inch, has navigation. Um, it also is Android Auto and Apple CarPlay compatible. There are uh, a multitude of different things you can do here and you can control it by some of these switches down here um, on the bottom. We can go to the navigation screen here. You can also siphon over and go to the, uh, the radio um, option here and click on the radio button down there um, and you can go through a multitude of different things I just clicked on that radio button to get it um, where it is right this second um, So very nice you can press also the home button which will take you back to the home screen um, And you go through different things like climate control um, You could turn the radio on you could hook up your Apple CarPlay you name it It's on the screen there very nice coming on down You have three vents across here that you can uh, put air out of 
Coming on out a little further, you have those controls for the radio and infotainment screen. You can power the radio up, turn the volume up. Um, you can go through different menu options over here to go through different stations. Hazard lights down here um, and the bottom as well. And then coming on down a little further, you do have your climate controls for the dual zone climate control here. So you can have at different temperatures um, in this vehicle. I'm going to come up and show that to you real quick. So right now it's all synced up, uh, but I can actually go over here and touch this uh, passenger side one and it would change uh, this temperature just on the passenger side. You can see that now. Very nice. Coming on down to the bottom, you do have a wireless charging pad right here where you can put your phone in and slide it in there. And then you also do have a USB port and a 12 volt charger right here. This USB port does hook up um, to that 10 and a quarter inch infotainment system right there. Coming down a little further, you have your shifter that's hooked up to the eight speed automatic. You can go down park, reverse, neutral, drive, and then you can also push it towards you and go up and down through the, uh, the different gears here in the uh, transmission. Very nice. Coming on down a little further, you have your electronic parking brake, which is right here. Uh, you have your drive modes, which will display right here. I'm coming back up. I don't want to shake it too much for you guys there. Um, so I'm just going back and forth with the buttons. Now you have Sport, Custom, Comfort, Eco, and Smart there. Um, all of these different modes go through a, a different thing. Some of them are uh, pretty common here. Sport, which gives you a lot of uh, all the power you possibly can get. Comfort is more of a comfortable drive. Eco is more the um, eco-friendly one. It saves you some gas. Um, which is uh, very important in this day and time. Um, auto hold for your uh, power brake, and then you also have your track control off button down there. You have heated seats here. You also have a heated steering wheel here in this all-wheel drive model. You can press this one for the backup camera, auto stop start, and then again, heated seats options um, right there as well. Very, very nice. Coming on over to the steering wheel here, guys. So, nice, thick steering wheel, leather wrapped, again, heated here on this model. Very nice. Uh, comfortable in the can the hands here uh, on this side you do have your um, different cruise control options here um, you can go through that this is also adaptive cruise control so you can set this and it will uh, follow the person that's in front of you slow down if it needs to um, over here on this side you also have your phone controls and then this goes through a different uh, uh, radio stations right up here and then on this side over here um, with the OK button and the toggle switch, this actually controls the menu that's here in the middle. So I'm just pressing up and down on that button, and you can press OK and hold it, and it will reset some of these things. I'm um, talking about this instrument gauge. You have a uh, screen here in the middle. You have tachometer on this side, and you have your speedometer um, on this side. You also have your park uh, button right there at the top. You can see, um, and then your fuel range right up here tells you how long you have till until um, E here in this vehicle. Very nice driving vehicle. It is a Kia Stinger, so it's got plenty of power for you um, and will really uh, give you a fun and comfortable drive. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please leave a comment at the bottom. I'm gonna get out and wrap this up. All right guys, so that's been the video on this 2022 Kia Stinger. Absolutely a awesome, awesome vehicle. And if you haven't driven one, I suggest you get over to your local Kia dealership and drive one of these because they may not be around for too much longer. You never know. Um, guys, thanks again for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to put a comment down in the comment section below. And also, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. It helps me out so, 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 so much. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers right now. That's the next milestone I'm trying to get to. Um, and I would love your support and all your help, please. If you have any recommendations for my next videos, please put them in the comment section down below. I'd love to help you purchase your next vehicle. If you are in the market for one, I do ship all around the United States. My number is 410 82 Two seven seven one seven. Thanks guys for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.